Hi guys and welcome back to the Crochet Toy YouTube channel. In today's video I'm bringing you another new crochet tutorial and this time it's another Animal Crossing one so I've got quite a few other Animal Crossing tutorials if you're interested. Uh, this will be included in the playlist for all of those so you'll, you should be able to see those um, on the playlist on my channel. But today uh, I'm doing a request, so this is a request from Coke Massive, I think that's what your um, YouTube username is, and you asked for Coco, so I've made this Coco here. So as you can see, she's kind of got like the um, ridge around the head and also on the arms as well. She's got her dress, she's wearing her little white t-shirt um, and then she's got the black eyes and the mouth. And I've also added the little specks as well. So you can see the dark brown and light brown specks. They're quite subtle on my one, but you could make them more pronounced if you want to in your version or you could just not do them at all. Um, so yeah, this one's actually not too complicated of a tutorial, I would say, especially because the eyes and the mouth are crocheted this time rather than felt, and I always find that sometimes that's the hardest part, actually, cutting out the felt pieces, so no felt in this one, so anyone who, ha who hates working with felt, then you'll be quite happy with this tutorial. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything about this tutorial, so if you're interested in learning how to make this, then let's get started. I'll show you um, what you're going to be needing for this tutorial. For this tutorial you'll be needing Aran weight yarn in the following colours, green, white, black, dark brown, medium brown and light brown. To be honest you don't really need much of any of these colours other than the medium brown, that's the one that we're going to be using for the skin colour. Um, the green is used for the dress, white is used for the t-shirt, black is used for the eyes and then the dark brown and the light brown are used for the little specks that we need to add um, to the body afterwards. Um, then you'll be needing your crochet hook. I'm using a 4mm crochet hook, but you could size up or size down as required if you're using a different weight of yarn. I've got a stitch marker, just an offcut of yarn here for this. I've got my yarn needle, that's for sewing everything together. Got some scissors, got some stuffing, you'll need more than this, but this is just to demonstrate. I've got some fabric glue, this is only needed for one part of this tutorial, which is um, adding the border around the eyes and the mouth, it just helps to keep the yarn in place. Um, and then you'll also probably be wanting some pins as well to pin things down when you're sewing. Um, I didn't use it too much, to be honest, when I was um, sewing my pieces down. I did most of them freehand, but it's good to have the option. So that's everything that you'll be needing for today. We're going to start off by crocheting the head and body, which are crocheted as one piece. We're going to start at the head using our mid-brown yarn. For round one, we're going to be doing six single crochets in a magic circle. Then for round two, we're going to be increasing in each of the single crochets all the way around and that will get us up to 12 single crochets at the end of the round. Okay, so at the end of round two, you should have your 12 single crochets all the way around. I'm just going to talk you through the next few rounds now, as they're just uh, mixes of single crochets and increases. So for round three, you're going to do single crochet increase, repeat five more times to get you up to 18 single crochets. Round four, two single crochet increase, repeat five more times to get you up to 24 single crochets. Round five, three single crochet increase, repeat five more times to get you up to 30 single crochets. Round six, four single crochet increase, repeat five more times to get you up to 36 single crochets. And then I'll meet you when you're ready to start round seven as we're going to be doing something slightly different. 
So this is what it's looking like at the end of round six. I'm now ready to start round seven. As, and as I mentioned, we're going to be doing something slightly different in this round. So we're going to be single crocheting all the way around, but in the back loops only. So as you can see, there's two loops to each of the single crochets. There's this front loop here, and then there's this back loop here. And we're just going to be crocheting into that back loop. So I'll show you a few stitches. So just single crocheting all the way around in that back loop only. So I'll meet you when you finish that. So at the end of round seven, this is what it should look like. You should be able to see those front loops that we didn't work in all the way around. Now, I'm just going to talk you through the next few rounds because there's no new techniques or anything in any of these. So for round eight, you're just going to do five single crochet increase and repeat that five more times to get you up to 42 single crochets at the end of the round. And then we're just going to be doing some rounds of single crocheting all the way around. So for rounds nine to 13, five rounds in total, you're just going to single crochet all the way around. So I got to the end of round 13, now I'm ready to start round 14. So in this round we're going to start doing some decreases. So we're going to start off by doing five single crochets. And then we're going to decrease over the next two stitches. So just start as if you're doing a normal single crochet. But then instead of yarning over and pulling through both loops, go into the next single crochet and pull up a loop instead. Then yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook. So I'll show you that once more after I've done my five single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. I'm then going to do a decrease. So you're just going to want to repeat that all the way around and that should get you down to 36 single crochets at the end of round 14. I've reached the end of round 14 and I'm just going to talk you through the next few rounds because it's just mixtures of single crochets and decreases. So for round 15 you're just going to single crochet all the way around. Round 16, four single crochet decrease. Repeat five more times to get you down to 30 single crochets at the end of the round. Round 17, three single crochet decrease. Repeat five more times to get you down to 24 single crochets at the end of the round. And then round 18, two single crochet decrease. Repeat five more times to get you down to 18 single crochets at the end of the round. I'll meet you at the end of round 18 as we then need to stuff the head. So at the end of round 18, you're going to want to add your stuffing, as you can see I've done here, and this is what the head looks like now. So there's only a couple more rounds that we're going to be doing in this brown, and then we're going to be switching to white. So the next two rounds is just round 19, single crochet decrease, and repeat that five more times to get you down to 12 single crochets. And then round 20, just single crochet all the way around. But um, when you get to that final single crochet of round 20, come back here and I will show you how to change to white. So we're ready to use our white colour for round 21. I'm just about to do my final single crochet of round 20 and change to white. So I'm going to start off in the normal way. And then rather than yarning over and pulling through both loops on my hook, I'm going to yarn over in white instead. And then pull that through. And now our colour is changed to white and we can continue crocheting around in white. So for round 21, you're just going to do single crochet increase all the way around. So I'll just get that started. And I'm going to be crocheting over uh, both the white and the uh, brown tail for just a little while. And then I'll snip them eventually. So I'm doing my increase. I'm going to do another single crochet and I think at this point I'm just going to give a little final tug on both of the tails and then I'm just going to cut this brown one and I can just leave that white tail there just like that. So now I'm going to do another increase. So yeah if you just keep doing single crochet increase all the way around I'll meet you when you finished round 21. This is what it looks like when I finish round 21. So I'm just going to talk you through the remaining rounds in white because, uh, again, they're not anything that we haven't already been through. So for round 22, it's just going to be two single crochet increase and repeat that pattern five more times to get you up to 24 single crochets at the end of the round. 
And then for rounds 23 to 28, so six rounds in total, we'll be single crocheting all the way around. And on that final single crochet of round 28, we'll be changing back to our medium brown colour. So I'm just about to do my final single crochet of round 28 and I'm going to change back to medium brown. Now I'm ready to start round 29. So in this round we're going to be doing three single crochet increase and repeat that five more times to get us up to 30 single crochets at the end of the round. So just like this, one, two, three, and then an increase. So I'll meet you when you've finished that. Okay, so there's just a couple more rounds to go of the body now and then we'll move on to making the legs. So for the last two rounds, round 30, you're just going to single crochet all the way around. And then round 31, you're going to do single crochet decrease and repeat that nine more times to get you down to 20 single crochets at the end of the round. So I'll meet you at the end of round 31 as we'll then start making the legs. I've just finished round 31 and now I'm ready to start the first round for one of the legs. So to start off with, we're just going to do 10 single crochets and you're going to want to mark the first single crochet that you do, just so you remember where the round started. Okay, so that's round one complete. Then for round two, you're going to do three single crochet decrease, three single crochet decrease. But obviously the first single crochet is going to be worked into this marked stitch on the other side. And that's what's going to kind of split this part of the body off to create our first leg. And then our second leg is going to be worked over the other side. So I'll just do round two with you as well. So this is my first single crochet. So one, two, three, and then a decrease. And once again, I'm going to do one, two, three, and then a decrease. that is round two complete and you should have eight single crochets all the way around so now for rounds three to seven we're just going to single crochet all the way around so I finished round seven and I've just stuffed the body and the leg firmly and now for round eight we're simply going to decrease all the way around so that should be four decreases Okay, so now I'm just going to cut my yarn, leaving a little bit of a tail, and then use my yarn needle to close up the hole. So to do that, I'm just going to be weaving my yarn tail through the front loop of each of those final four stitches of round eight. So that's two, three, and then four. And then I'm just going to weave the yarn tail, once I've pulled on it, I'm going to weave the yarn tail back through the leg, just like this. And then I'm going to slip the remaining tail. 
So that is our first leg complete, so now we're going to move on to make the other one. So for the second leg, we're going to be repeating all the same steps again, but just to help you out with where you need to reattach your yarn, it should be in the single crochet after the final single crochet of the first round that you did of the first leg. So as you can see here, this single crochet has definitely been worked in because this single crochet here is linked to this one. So this will be the single crochet next to it that we need to reattach our yarn into. And also, if you're not sure, just make sure that you can count 10 single crochets in total from where you're starting. And if you can, then you know you're going into the right stitch. So for me, I can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I know that I'm starting in the correct single crochet. So now I'm just going to reattach my medium brown yarn. And as I mentioned before, I'm going to be doing exactly the same rounds one to eight that I already did for the other leg. So just reattaching. So I'm going to start off by doing my 10 single crochets. So just like this and I'm going to make sure to crochet over that tail as well for a little bit to secure it in place. Then for round two I'm going to do my three single crochet decrease, three single crochet decrease to get me down to eight single crochets at the end of the round. Then for rounds three to seven single crochet all the way around, remember to stuff at the end of round seven and then for round eight decrease all the way around and then close up the hole and weave in your yarn tail. So I'll meet you when you finish the second leg and if you need any help on any of the steps again just watch it for the first leg because it's pretty much the same thing that we're doing again. So this is what Coco is looking like now that I've done both of the legs and the final thing I just want to do is to close up that hole that you can see between the legs that the stuffing isn't showing through. It doesn't really matter because there is going to be a dress that's kind of covering this part up anyway but I just want to make it as clean as possible so I am going to close up that hole. So I'm just going to take a small length of my medium brown yarn and just pop that on my yarn needle and then go back to this bit between the legs and start doing a whip stitch to close up that gap. And that should be enough really, so I'm going to leave it like that and just weave the yarn tails through the body and the legs just to secure them in place a little bit and then you can cut them. So there we have it, the main body, head and legs are now complete. We're now going to start working in those available um, front loops that we didn't work in from round six that you should be able to see at the top of the head. So this is the front of my cocoa and the reason I know this is just because I want the front to be uh, the cleanest looking side and as you can see on the back here it's a bit less... Um, even looking on the head at the top then also we've got the color change at the back as well now this would be covered up by the dress but i'm still going to decide that this is my front so just make a decision now as to what is going to be the front of your coco and then what we're going to do is we're going to turn to the back instead and we're going to start off by reattaching our medium brown yarn in one of those available front loops from round six so i'm just going to pick this one and make sure that you leave a little bit of a tail when you're doing this. And I'm just reattaching in here, just like this. And all we're going to be doing is just slip stitching around in each of those available front loops from round six. So just like this. So hopefully you get the idea, I'll meet you when you've done that all the way around. 
So I finished slip stitching all the way around. To finish, you could just do a slip stitch into the first slip stitch you did and finish off that way. But just to make it look a little bit neater, I'm gonna finish off with a fake slip stitch. So I've cut my yarn, leaving a little bit of a tail here, and I'm just gonna pull the yarn tail through like this. Then I'm gonna turn my work. I'm gonna skip the first slip stitch we did and go into the second one. And I'm just gonna pull that yarn tail through. And then I'm going to go back to the final slip stitch we did into the closest loop to us at the moment. So this one and then pull that yarn tail back through again. And as you can see, that's created the fake appearance of an additional slip stitch here on top of that first one that we did. And it just looks a little bit neater and it's harder to tell where the round ended. So now we can just weave our yarn tails through the head to secure them and then we can cut them to get rid of them so i'm just gonna weave that through don't pull too tight otherwise you might misshape the top of the head i'm gonna just weave it through once more and then i'll just do the same thing with this little tail i have as well I'll probably just weave that through once And then just snip both sides. So this is what the head should be looking like now. I'm going to move on to making the eyes now. So you're going to need your black yarn for this to start off with. So for round one, we're just going to do five single crochets in a magic circle. So that's round one and then for round two you're just going to increase all the way around and that'll get you up to 10 single crochets at the end of the round Okay, so when you finish that, just cut your yarn, leaving a tail for sewing. And you will also want to finish off with a fake single crochet for additional neatness. So if you just turn your work, skip the next single crochet, go into the one after that. Pull your yarn tail through. Then go back to the final single crochet of round two into the closest loop to us. So this one. And just pull that yarn tail through and it just makes it um, difficult to tell where the round ended so once you've got two of these come back and we'll sew them to the head as you can see I've sewn down one of the eyes and also added the dark brown border so we're going to do the other one together now so just pin it wherever you want it um, I've got my two eyes roughly three or four single crochets apart and I'm just going to be doing a running stitch to sew this down. So going into a medium brown stitch and pulling the black through. Then into another medium brown back up through the black. And I'm just going to keep doing that all the way around. So black to medium brown. Then medium brown. To black. So I'll meet you when you've sewn all the way around finished sewing down the eye so I'm just going to weave the yarn tail through probably to the top of the head and then I will cut that and then what we need to do next is to add our dark brown border so for this you're just going to need 
a sort of medium length of your dark brown yarn and then you're also going to want some fabric glue to kind of help keep everything in place so to do this we're just going to weave our yarn tail through to the top of the eye just above one of those black stitches so here would be a good place for example just pull that through leaving a little bit of a tail at the top and then we're going to be what sort of like looping that round the eye like this and what you want to do is make sure that you go back through your dark brown yarn like this and then back through the head itself to the top of the head where the other uh, dark brown tail is sitting and then pull on that gently so you don't want it to be too too tight but you want it to be tight enough that it's kind of sitting nicely around the edge of the eye so kind of like that and as you can see going into that um, dark brown yarn at the top just makes it again harder to tell where you kind of started where you um, pushed the yarn through in the first place it kind of makes it look more like a continuous loop so that's what you want it to look like so now you can take um, your yarn off the needle and now what you're going to want to do is lift up that loop gently and add some glue around the eye and then uh, place the loop back so I've got my glue I'm just gonna you don't need much just a small amount around the eye like that and then I'm just gonna gently place that push it down and you're just going to want to leave that to dry for a bit so try not to touch it for a bit and then with these two little um, tails at the top here you can just weave them through the head once more and then snip them to get rid of them so that's the eyes now we need to make the mouth so the mouth will also be worked in black and this time we're going to be working round a foundation chain it's just going to be the one round that we're doing here so you're going to start off by chaining four. Then we're going to work across the chain, starting from the second chain from hook. You can work into these front loops if you want, or the back loops, doesn't matter. I'm going to choose the back loops. And we're going to do two single crochets and then an increase. So then we're going to turn our work so that we're working on the other side of the foundation chain and we're going to do the exact same thing again two single crochets and a increase So that's the mouth complete we're then just going to cut our yarn leaving the tail for sewing and again for additional neatness you can finish off with a fake single crochet this time i'm going to finish off with an additional fake single crochet so instead of skipping this stitch and going into the next one i'm just going to go into the actual next stitch and pull that yarn tail through then go back to the final uh, single crochet of the round and go into the closest loop to us at the moment and pull the yarn tail through there. So again, makes it harder to tell where the round finished. So now we're ready to sew this to the head. I've pinned the mouth down beneath the eyes and I'm just gonna do the exact same uh, technique that I used before. So I'm gonna be doing a running stitch to sew this down. And then I'm also gonna add the border with the dark brown yarn and some glue again. I'm not gonna show you all those steps again because it's gonna be um, almost exactly the same as what I did for the eyes. So feel free to rewind and watch that again if you need a reminder, but I'll show you when this is finished. I sewed down the mouth and added the border in the same way as I did for the eyes so that's the face complete now we're going to move on to making the ears so this is what the ears will look like once you've crocheted them I've gone ahead and made them because the rounds are stuff that we've already done before so um, no point in filming that 
So round one is just five single crochets in a magic circle in your medium brown. Round two, increase all the way around to get you up to ten single crochets. Then rounds three to ten single crochet all the way around. And then just cut your yarn, leaving a tail for sewing and make two. So once you've got your ears, come back and I'll show you how to sew them. I've already sewn down the first ear. I'm going to do the second one with you now. So you're going to want to position the ears fairly close to each other. Um, and I'm just going to be sewing it down freehand, but you can use pins to keep it in place if you want to. And I'm just going to be doing a whip stitch all the way around the ear, so the front and the back. So just like this. So yeah, I'll meet you when I sew it all the way around. I finished sewing the other ear all the way around, so I'm just going to weave my yarn tail through the head. And then I can just snip that. So this is what it looks like when the ears have been sewn on. We're going to be making the arms next, so this is what one of them looks like. I'm going to make the other one with you now. So we're going to start off with our medium brown yarn again. And for round one, we're going to be doing four single crochets in a magic circle. Then for round two, we're going to increase all the way around to get us up to eight at the end of the round. Then for round three, we're just going to single crochet all the way around, so that'll be eight in total. Then for round four, we're going to single crochet all the way around again, but in the back loops only. And then for round number five uh, and number six, so two rounds in total, you're going to single crochet all the way around in your medium brown colour. In the final single crochet of round six, we're going to be changing to white, so I'll meet you at that point. Just about to do my final single crochet of round six now, and I'm going to change to white. So now we're ready to start round seven. In round seven, we're just going to be single crocheting all the way around in our white colour. So just like this. And actually for round seven to ten, we're going to just be single crocheting all the way around. So that'll be four rounds in total in our white colour. I'll meet you at the end of round ten. So I finished round 10 and to finish this off we're just going to be working four slip stitches across the top to close everything off. So just do that now. Just like that and then we're going to cut our yarn leaving a tail for sewing. So now we're going to need to get 
some more medium brown yarn and reattach uh, into these available front loops from round three. So let's do that next. So I'm going to uh, firstly work out which side is going to be the inside of the arm and which side is going to be on display on the outside. So for me, it's going to be this bit is going to be the inside. This part's going to be the outside. That's just because this side is a bit less neat because you can see the colour change and things like that. So the side where it's closest to the body, you're going to want to actually uh, reattach your yarn into that side because, again, it's going to be a bit messier um, at that point and you want to keep it hidden. So I'm going to select one of the available front loops and I'm just going to put my medium brown yarn back in there. And what I'm going to be doing is just slip stitching all the way around the arm like this in those front loops that we haven't yet worked in. So I'll meet you when I've finished doing that all the way around. I finished slip stitching all the way around. I'm going to cut my yarn, leaving a bit of a tail. And I'm going to finish off with a fake slip stitch as usual, just kind of like how we did for the head, just to make it neater. So I'm going to turn my work and go into the next slip stitch, pull the yarn through. Then go back to that final slip stitch in the closest loop to us currently. Pull the yarn through like that. And that is that part complete. So now all we need to do is just weave those yarn tails probably inside the arm. You can knot them off if you want and then you can cut them to get rid of them um, and then come back once you've got your two arms and I'm going to show you how to sew these to the body. Sewn down the first arm, I'm going to do the second one with you now. So we're just going to position this at the side of the body trying to make it um, symmetrical with the other side. And then we're just going to be whip stitching along the top to start off with. Before I move on, I'm just going to check I'm happy with that positioning. Yep, I think that's okay. So now I'm just going to sew down a couple of stitches at the back of the arm and then a couple at the front for additional um, um, stability, I suppose. Just like that and then Bring that to the front of the arm, do a couple there. Double check that again. Okay, so then just weave your yarn tail through the body and then you can snip that. So before we move on to crocheting the final piece, which is going to be the dress, I'm going to add some specks of light brown and dark brown um, to all of the head, the ears, the arms and the legs. 
So you're going to just want to cut a length, a fairly long length of each of those colours and then just start adding specks and trying to make it appear as random as possible effectively. So for example, if I start up here, I just do a little speck like this. And then do another one down here. And I think you get the idea. I'm just going to do that um, all over. This step is a little bit tedious and boring. So I would recommend that you watch telly or something while you're doing this. Um, but yeah, I will meet you when I've done that. Because it wouldn't be very fun for you to watch me do that. Probably, I don't know. I imagine it's going to take me maybe 20 or 30 minutes to complete that. Or maybe it'll be quicker actually. Who knows. But um, yeah, I'll meet you when I finish that. And then we can move on to making the dress. I've now finished adding my dark brown and light brown spots so this is what it's looking like so I've added them to the arms and legs as well. I've also done some on the back but I've mainly focused doing it on the front so I'm happy with that. You can do as many or as few as you like and you can make them as prominent or as um, uh, less noticeable um, as you would like as well. So now we've just got one final thing to do and that is to make the dress. So grab your green yarn and let's do that now. So the dress is going to be worked from the bottom upwards and we're going to start off by chaining 36 and we're going to be working in rounds for this. Now when you start your chain you're just going to want to make sure you leave a little bit of a tail. This will just help you to tidy things up at the um, bottom of the dress later on. So yeah I just leave a sort of medium length of tail here. But yeah I'm going to chain 36 now so I'm just going to work my way through that. And I'll meet you when I've got 36. I've got my chain of 36. This is what it looks like. And now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, single crochet um, in every single chain. And obviously starting from this first chain so that we um, create a round. So I'm just going to be working into the front loops this time. Again, you can do whatever you prefer, but I'm going to um, work in these front loops. So I'm just going to start by doing my first single crochet and then I've got to do 35 more and that will take me all the way around. So I'll meet you when I finish that. I've done my 36 single crochets, this is what it looks like. As you can see it is going to be a little bit uneven at this bottom part here but this is why we want to keep this tail and use it later on when we finished um, doing most of the dress just to neaten this bit up so we'll come back to that later. I'm going to talk you through um, the next few rounds now because again it's um, stuff we've already done before. So round three is going to be four single crochet decrease and repeat five more times to get you down to 30 single crochets. Rounds four to seven, single crochet all the way around. Round eight, three single crochet decrease, repeat five more times to get you down to 24 single crochets at the end of the round. Then rounds nine to 10, single crochet all the way around. And I'll meet you when you're ready to start round 11. So this is what my dress is looking like now that I'm ready to start round 11. So we're nearly finished with this, um, but I thought I'd show you this round because uh, we're doing some slightly different stitches in this. So we're going to start off by doing 14 single crochets and I'm just going to mark um, the first stitch of the round just to remind myself where the round started. So 14 single crochets. Then we're going to work a half double crochet, so it's very similar to a single crochet, but instead of um, putting your hook in the um, stitch and then pulling up a loop, you're going to yarn over first, then pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops at once. So that's our half double crochet. Then we're going to do a double crochet, so yarn over, go into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, 
yarn over, pull through the remaining two. So that's our double crochet. Then we're going to do another half double crochet. Then we are going to do two slip stitches. Then we're going to do the same pattern again, half double crochet, double crochet, half double crochet. And then we finish off with two single crochets. So as you can see, that's created a slight appearance of a V-neck at the front. It's not the most pronounced, but um, yeah, it does just slightly change the look at the top of the dress. So now what you're going to want to do before we move on to the final round, which is round 12, you're going to want to put your dress on Coco. So I'm just going to grab my Coco and just squeeze her into this dress making sure that that v-neck is positioned at the front like that and then just pulling up at the back as well and we're going to work round 12 while the dress is on coco because we're going to be creating the dress straps um, in this round as well so i've removed my stitch marker and i'm ready to start round 12 so we're going to start off by doing 10 slip stitches Then you're going to chain nine for the strap. Then skip the next five stitches and slip stitch into the next one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to slip stitch in this one. Then do five more slip stitches. Then do another chain of nine. Then skip the next five stitches and slip stitch into the sixth. And now at this point you can cut your yarn, I already cut mine before so I don't have much of a tail left so I'm just going to pull it through. Just leave a little bit of a tail because you're going to want to probably do some knotting um, to keep things in place. And then just um, adjust the dress, make sure it's sitting how you want it to sit. So yeah, we're very nearly done. Now we need to do is, like I say, knot off this part to secure it and then do a little bit of tidying up at the bottom here and then we're complete. So for this little tail, I'm just going to pull it through to the inside of the dress and then just do a little bit of knotting on the inside because we won't see that. just gonna snip leave a little bit of a tail because again it'll be on the inside of the dress so you won't see that anyway 
So that's that. And then we're just going to tidy up this bit here. So I'm going to kind of do a fake slip stitch or fake single crochet kind of thing at the bottom here just to tidy it up. So I'm going to turn my work and just go into a nearby loop. I'm less prescriptive with this. Um, you can just kind of do whatever looks good um, for you. I'm going to pull that loop through there and then I'm going to go back to probably this loop here. And just pull that tail through again so it just looks a little bit neater now at the bottom and then i'm going to do the same thing bring that tail inside the dress and then do a little bit of knotting uh, on the inside that is it so obviously it's still a little bit uneven at the bottom here you can kind of tell but um the good thing about the dress is that's positioned at the back so it shouldn't really be a massive issue but yeah that's coco complete so i'll show you a better finished view of coco um, and then that'll be it for this tutorial so this is what my completed coco looks like from the back So yeah, I'm really pleased with how this turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.